started out as him, right? Tell us about some of the things that you've done to prepare yourself for your vacation business, to start building your business. What's the things you've done? I listened to your 30 minute uh, four step recording call. You, you already on your way down. <laughs> you can sit down. You're done already. <laughs> what else have you done? What have you done? I tell everybody I sponsor to listen to your 30 minutes. <laughs> I promise y'all, I don't know this gentleman. It's not a revival. I did not plan him here. We just, we just met right here. My man, my man. Okay, so Kevin, now we're going to play the role, right? I am a guest. Let's say we have a pre existing relationship. We know each other. We play basketball, we play golf together, whatever our relationship is. You are going to pique my interest in vacation travel. Let's go. Hey. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Hollywood, not for everybody. It's not for everybody. No, 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 no. We know each other. We're boys. We're boys. It's my best friend over here. I know. I, I know what's her name. As Iris. As you know Iris. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Hey, Spence, what you doing? What are you doing Saturday morning at 945? Saturday nine forty five. Uh, nothing I can think of, man. Uh, I got a, I got an appointment later on that day, but nine forty five in the morning or at night? In the morning. In the morning. I, I think I'm good. Oh, good. So I want you to come out. Me and my wife are launching a brand new business. We want you to see what we're doing. See if we can get your support. Can you be there? Nine forty five. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna call you back. I don't hung up on you already. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, now. He hung up. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. First of all, there were, there were no pleasantries exchanged. He just went right in. What's your name, Michelle? Alisa, was close. Alisa, like, Alisa, will you marry me? Right. Right. Can we date? Can we go to the movies first? Can we get some bubble gum and popcorn? Can we do something? Good Lord. Can we, Will you marry me? My goodness. Hey, man, what you doing at 945 in the morning? I start to do business. Whoa, man, whoa. That's a little strong, bro. I mean, right? That's, that's, that's too strong, right? See, what you want to do, this is old attorney stuff. I know the end game. I know the end game. What I want to do is creep up on them, though, right? Hey, man, did you see the game last night? Yes, I did. I was happy Golden State lost. They lost last night? Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> I had money in the game. I don't feel like that, dude. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, uh, yeah. um, you drew me right there. I can't just role play too seriously. Yeah. All uh, right. So, uh, so, okay. You saw the game last night? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, great game. Great game. Uh, and, you know, we worked out Friday. We had a good uh, ball game. You know, we won four. You guys won five. Really excited. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm easing my way. I'm easing my way to the thing. How's the family doing? Oh, Tammy's doing great. Fantastic. Look, Kevin, I'm really excited. I don't have a lot of time, okay? I just got excited. I'm excited about a brand new project I just launched. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to send you a number. I want you to jump on this number. I want you to listen and tell me what excites you the most about my new project. I can do that. See, I just piqued his interest. I just piqued his interest. I broke the ice, talked about the family, talked about the game, just, just something real brief. And then I said, I just launched a brand new what? Project. What word did I not use? Business. What word did he use? Business. People are sick and tired of businesses. Wow. They're tired of businesses and they're tired of opportunities. If you're using those two words, you are hurting yourself in the interest peaking phase. People don't want to join a new business. They don't want to join a new opportunity. They hear that all the time. So when I use project, people are much more open to that. Why do I keep saying I don't have a lot of time? I don't. I have to go. Why do I keep saying that? So they don't ask me a lot of questions in the interest speaking phase. Some of you get caught up right off of the bat with too much information, and they start asking you a bunch of questions that right now, see, this is rated PG. You're too new to answer. You're too new to answer. You don't want to know everything. You don't want to put yourself in that position. And then I'm going to give him the number or a website. Which is better? Is it the website or is it the on-demand call? Which, which is better, the video or the phone call? Which is the best? Who says the video? Who says the phone? The answer is neither. Both of them are great. Both of them are great. If I got somebody who's really busy, they don't have a lot of time, what I'm going to do is give them which tool? I'm like, no, no, okay. I'm so, come here, come, 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 come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Because I've heard that one before, too. Don't go anywhere, there ain't nobody. What, what, what tool did you say to give them? The three-minute scissors call. That is exactly, now, 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 that is not 
That is not the two together. No. That is not the two together. Somebody answer, ask me why. why. Here's why. I can't close anybody off the sizzle call. No. That's right. It, the three-way call. It's, it's $149. Dollars. Somebody say that. It's $149. Dollars. I can't go through all these motions with you for $149. Dollars. I don't have 10 steps of exposure for $149. So there is no sizzle call and then nizzle call and then whistle call and then you make it to the video. No, 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 no. It's either the video or it's the phone call because I can close you from either. The, three, the, sizzle, the sizzle call is nothing more than interest speaking. Here's, I'm going to I'm I'm do the sizzle call for you in three seconds. You like to travel? That's it. I just need your sister call. I'm serious. That's all a sister call tries to figure out is do you like to travel? So that is a waste of what? It's a waste of time. I know that's the system you have. I'm just trying to help y'all get you the money. Okay? So either one is fine. There is no better or best. Okay? So I put the, if I've got somebody who's really, really busy, they don't have a lot of time, what tool did I put them on? I put them on the call. They may not have time to sit down and watch the video. Most people are visual learners. They're visual learners. They want to see something. So what tool do I expose them to? I expose them to the video, and then there's a small group that likes to see both. They want to see both. That's fine, but from either one of those tools, I can close someone. So there's no better or best. So there's two main parts. If you're playing the role of the interest speaker, thank you, my sister. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's two main parts to the interest speaker. The first one is be brief. We're taking notes. Be brief. And number two, be excited. Be brief and be excited. See, your prospect right now in interest speaking, they're feeding off of your energy. I can't tell you how many dead people I've talked to. They have no music in their voice. Or dead people I've listened to. Right I'm trying to tell my friend about this great business I'm in. We're going to this thing. We're going to call time. Okay, so be brief. Be excited. Be brief. Be excited. Be brief. Be excited. Who wants to join you? You look like that, 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 that cartoon character on uh, Charlie Brown with the cloud over his head all the time. What's that, Linus? You're just always just just a, just doom, death, doom, and destruction always around. You. No, you've got to be excited and you've got to be brief if you're going to play a key role as being a great interest speaker. Let's give it up for Keith. Don't go over Keith. Is it Keith? Okay. Kevin, I'm just my best friend right here. Kevin. Thank you for volunteering, man. First 48 CD for you. Take that with you, man, and it help you with some of those points. Okay. Give it up again, Kevin. Give it up again. All right. Now, we're going to go to another role that you must master. Another role you must master. You must become the three-way call center upper. You must master the role of becoming a three-way call center upper. Now, who has been in the business for six months or more? Six months or more. I saw that first hand right there, young lady right there. Uh -huh, come on up. Oh, you may want to volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Let me see who wants to volunteer. You'll volunteer. Okay, she's got it. Y'all give her a round of applause as she comes up. Front of her beautiful, upper skin, printed 